array formula in Google Sheets is when you paste formula in one cell and it expands automatically into multiple rows or columns right and down this formula cell. So today I will show you how to make AND and OR logic with E function with array formula in the Google Sheets. First, shortly about functions OR and AND as they are in second ADD plus and multiply instead of using OR and AND logic in order to accomplish your task and make it array formula. Let's check. Have experience and also hours more than 30. These two conditions equals and have experience, comma, hours more than 30. Yeah. False is the result. And I want to convert this into an array formula. Instead of B2, I'll check B2 up to B9. Instead of C2, C2 up to C9. And I'll hit Control, Shift and Enter to make it an array formula. You see, nothing changed. You just don't see the result because it must expand automatically inside of here. And I can just copy this formula down, see that even the result is not okay. It's everywhere is false, but uh, there are some rows when experience is true have experience and also hours is more than 30 so this formula doesn't work i'll delete it and use it just as example the same stuff is with or function i guess let's make or and hit enter it also doesn't expand but when you make some Investigation, you see that truth is equal actually when you multiply truth by one, you get one, and when you multiply false by one, you get zero. So, the same logic as true or false, you can use uh, zero and one instead of true and false if you make some operations with it. For example, you multiply it by 1, or you make double zero operation, which is even more beautiful, and uh, I heard that it works faster, I didn't check it myself, but I always use double minus to convert false and truth uh, into zero and one for my job. So I uh, instead of and, I'll check this and this and logic is multiply multiplying no changes to columns and instead of and I will just move double put in put it into brackets and double minus and then multiply it with another conditions also double minus and then hours Oh, I forgot the equal sign. My hours is C, C2, C9, more than 30. Close parentheses. Also, hit Control, Shift, and Enter, and see the result. As you see now, it expanded, and it's okay. And it's true. Have experience. Hours more than 30. For max, the same truth and others is false. I'll copy this formula and make our logic with plus instead of using multiplying I'll make it plus and I see 
uh, that uh, plus not always gives me one, but if uh, there is more than one condition, it gives me two, but it doesn't matter. I may uh, just check if this all this condition is more than zero, then it's true. Uh, just like this array formula, this plus this, I'll add and add to two brackets and then hit more than zero and hit true and false and here if I do the same I also convert this ones and zeros into, into trues and false and if you check this the result would be just the same if you make it with array formula if it, if, if it would work why it is so important because we use all this stuff in our if e functions. Let's say I make some copy and make it plus if and array. Okay. And here the formula will be oh sorry. I'll copy this plus formula from here. And make it uh, like condition of if fun function. If this is true, then okay. Else print no, not okay. I have made made a mistake in my formula. I guess this is because of my brackets. Oh, I see. There is a spare bracket, and in the, in the end, I must make. And uh, so I made some conditions. I also made some good calculations, and now I have OK instead of true, and no instead of false. It may be any logic uh, you can imagine. And the last thing I want to show you is when you actually dealing with tables, uh, they they are always growing you make another input here and you want this formula to expand automatically into an, any range you want so i also make it background color to show you that here we can instead of this b2 b9 we may use offset function offset of b2 three commas and then count a and count number of occurrences in first first column hit enter to see if I made some mistakes of course I made I must make yes and it works okay now the final thing is to paste offset here too but change b2 to C2 and now when I add some more results down here would be array with true and with 50 expo experience and you see that a my array formula has expanded automatically and the these formulas uh, were hard coded to B2, B9 and C2, C9 range so it ha hasn't expanded so this formula is smarter but it's harder to to understand but uh, when you just look it by parts you see there's nothing to afraid and if you need you may watch the sample below the video and see how it works and use it in your work